All aboard, it's Jang here, and I'm back with the Playmobil Modern House, except it has been transformed previously. I reviewed it just as it comes with the Modern House set itself, but now I have furnished it up with four separate and separately purchasable room sets. So upstairs I've got the modern bathroom and bedroom, and downstairs I have the living room over here and the kitchen here. I've kept the parts from each room set together so we'll be able to look at those one room at a time and then the stuff that comes with the house just the base house with the walls and everything has been just put off to the side here so you won't get confused first up the kitchen it's set number 9269 comes with 102 pieces making it by far the most complex of the room sets we're going to look at here and this costs 22 dollars new in the u.s at the playmobile store at playmobile.us this bit of cabinetry and countertop acts as a half-height wall to define one edge of the room. And this has little basket drawers down in it where you can put pots and pans. And I've put a full set of, of uh, utensils in there. So you've got some spoons and forks and knives also in another one. And over here where it looks like it's blank, there are actually two just empty shelves on the other side. So a little bit of extra storage space. You get some baguettes here, some bread, a basket for fruit, just has some green apples. This is a blender and then that is a coffee press. In the back there is more cabinetry and you've got some storage space for dry foods, non-perishables up there. The oven can be opened up and there's also some additional storage down here for more pots and pans and there are additional pots and pans included in the set, just a few of them to use for cooking things in the oven. And then this is actually the refrigerator which is a designer unit that's actually built in to the wall. So it's kind of built into the house here. And there's a bunch of food, a bunch of different food items that you get to go with this. You can see some of those there and put some of them in the door as well. All the things that have decorations on them uh, involve stickers. So you just apply small stickers to each of those things. And that's pretty much it for that. Then over here we have the sink and another countertop. Up above you have a little bit of a cupboard and there are some cups and glasses there. This is the dishwasher, which actually has a tray inside of it. And I think I have some additional dishes in there. These are a little bit difficult to, to get around to get my fingernail underneath, but there we go. Yeah, got that tray that can actually extend out. So I've got just a couple plates and one of the coffee cups down in there. And beneath the sink, that's where you have the garbage. So garbage uh, bins are down there. And again, it's a little bit difficult to get your finger under there if you have stuff in the way in, in front. So you might want to keep that in mind that all of these require that you get your finger or fingernail underneath to pull them out. So this has actually two bins within it, which are for regular garbage, regular waste. That's going to go to... Uh, to landfill, you know, and then uh, recycling so you can separate those out. And then the center island here acts as part electric cooktop or range and part breakfast bar. So there are some seats that you can put around the place. You've got three adult sized seats that again just match the color scheme and the decor. And there's also a high chair for a small child. We'll look at these figures that are included with this set in just a second but you can see some additional dishes and cookware. That's a toaster back there. They actually include three pieces of toast. So I have placed one in front of the smallest child there and also included with this set are the carrier. And this is actually just another pan here, but I realized that it could also be used as a washing tub for the baby. Here are this set's three figures. You could see these as being two teens, or you could also use either one as, as an adult. I mean, they really expand the family quite a bit here. I like the variety and types of clothing, different colors of hair and styles in general. Sorry about that to the baby, but this is a toddler who's probably not supposed to be walking just yet, but can still be placed in a walking pose and you had a couple buttons around the back there. The living room is set number 9267 and officially only comes with 37 pieces. Doesn't have a lot of small accessories like the kitchen does. And this one goes for $18. It is the 
well, the smallest of the sets that you're going to be looking at here in terms of the amount of space it takes up. And I feel like it also gives you the least value for your money. So I went ahead and put it into the smallest room that's in this, this house by default. And it fits in there okay. Uh, you, can, you can see a little bit better how, uh, as, as I was showing in, or as I was talking about in my original review of the house by itself, this space is a little bit dark and a little bit dingy. I actually have a, a light facing directly in there right now and it's still kind of getting getting blocked by a, a lot of stuff but here you've got the furniture with a couple of essentially bookcases back there including a couple of bookshelf speakers that are up and then the entertainment center in the, the middle with the flat screen tv there and they're doing a little cross sell to some of the football or soccer as we call it in the u.s uh, sets and and figures uh, just a little bit of extra stuff to put up on the shelves themselves and then that is an rc car that is being operated by this kit uh, this kid over here with the the remote controller that he's got and then kind of the i'd say the main thing that you really pay for here that, that you really go for in this set is the couch which is a little bit disappointing to me in its size it's 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 able to hold two adults, um, maybe three kids at the most. You know, for a living room, I really would have expected more emphasis on seating space, especially for such a large house, which is going to get populated with a lot of people if you start to buy multiple room sets, which all come with additional figures. You can use that side table, end table thing over there as, as a seat, you know, like a stool if you want. I mean, it's... It's not that high off the ground, so that's something you can improvise with. But it just seems like this set should have had for this room more purpose-built seating than just that. You know, it's really just for one to two adults at the most. And beyond that, you're going to be, eh, well, you're going to be really squeezing folks on there. Now, this crystal ball-looking thing over here is actually a light that's built into this. So there are AAA batteries in the base that you have to add on your own. And you push that button once, and see, so it just lights up a little bit. Gives you a little bit of, of warm illumination. You push the button one more time, though, and it goes into a color-changing cycle. So it started off kind of blue, and now it's going towards pink. And it's just smoothly going to go through a full rainbow and eventually come back. So it's moving off towards red, towards orange now, and it'll just keep going. It's a nice effect. Uh, looks better if you don't have so much light in, in a room to begin with, but it's kind of small, you know, and it really does not illuminate this entire space. It's just accent lighting is really what it is. That plant in the Lechuza planter comes with the living room and for an additional activity, you also have a saxophone here that comes with a stand. Finally, here's a better look at the two figures that are included with the living room. Lots of print on both of these, except for the trousers for the one on the left. So a little bit more variety, but overall, out of the, the ones that I've gotten, I, I did end up with quite a bit of green, especially bright green. I feel like uh, the, the assortments could have used a little bit more red. I think that's the color that's missing the most. All right, moving up a level, this is the bathroom, set number 9268, which officially comes with 660 pieces and sells for $22 in the U.S. My favorite part of this by far is the shower, which has a semi-transparent, semi-translucent panel, which looks like glass that's partly frosted. And you can see that here on the left side, but there's another one of those in the back so you can you can orient this in different ways i just set it up in a way that made sense to me for easy access and you do put together the shower a bit they've got the handheld wand there got soap on a rope and some additional products to use for getting yourself cleaned up i appreciate the fact that they have a suggestion of a a drain back there in the corner but could have used a sticker i think probably to Add a little extra detail to that. This freestanding thing over here is a light. So it has a battery inside of it and you push the button and it lights up. And that's actually pretty cool. This does provide a little bit of illumination, proper illumination for the room, but it's still not a lot. Uh, they do sell an actual light kit for the modern home here, but nothing that, that fully brightens up entire rooms 
Back there in that corner is a shelving unit, and I've put some of the accessories on the shelves there. Yeah, we've got a couple of caddies as well that will help you to keep smaller things together. And then here's the toilet, which comes on its own base. They've got the toilet paper roll there, and also a brush for cleaning that up. Of course, you can raise the top, but it does not have an additional seat beneath it so it's just one thing that is either open or closed i also want to point out the scale the weighing scale back there which is a glass style design and it is on and ready to be used and then you get dual sinks which i think is great for keeping marriages together so people don't have to fight over a small amount of space and any accessories that you see in here in this room did come with this set Notice that the stickers for the mirrors work. They are very nice and shiny chrome mirror stickers. And they've got some convenient caddies in here, convenient spaces. Like here I can put these plastic mugs, which each have a toothbrush. So there are two of those. Oops, just fell out, but they've got a little bit of a slot there. I don't know if this was exactly what it was designed for. I didn't, I didn't check, it's probably on the box, but it just, completely made sense. And then you have some additional accessories here, hair dryer and a brush. And then there's a comb in the other one. And that's just down in there. And then this is just a little floor mat with a little design on it, you know, a nice print. And this is actually made of a, uh, like a, a plastic uh, card stock, you know, so you can get water on it and it won't completely destroy it, but you probably don't want to leave it completely submerged either. So be careful with it, but it won't just spontaneously fall apart. The last thing in this room is this bicycle style trainer exercise machine. Uh, is that appropriate for a bathroom? I don't know, but they include the thing. So, you know, you don't have to put it in the bathroom. You can put it anywhere you want. And yeah, you can sit a figure on it. It doesn't have any moving parts, so you can't really simulate doing anything with it. But then again, you know, Playmo legs don't move all that much. But, you know, it's nice to include one additional thing. Now, speaking of Playmo legs, well, here are four of them with the two figures included with this set. So the guy on the right, obviously, is either just coming out of the shower or he's about to go into the shower and the towel is removable and don't worry he's wearing shorts underneath so he is decent even if you take this off i do want to show you how this is a separate accessory piece and this can i easily be placed over a male or female figure so the guy just has shorts on he's got these flip-flops which are a nice soft silicone material so it actually gives him good traction and makes it very easy for him to stand up he doesn't fall over easily and then this is just a separate piece oops as i said he doesn't fall over easily i almost knock him over and then this lady is also included and she has the modern style of dress which can be changed out but uh, i don't know who she's supposed to be actually i don't know who the guy's supposed to be either there are a lot of people that are uh, starting to populate up this house but you know use your own imagination and you don't even have to have all the people that come with the rooms living at the house or even visiting the house you know you can just add them to your own scenes elsewhere of course last up here's the bedroom setup and i placed it in the largest space up here because it just made the most sense to me Plamo on their their box for the main house set suggested putting the bedroom set down where I put the living room, which is a relatively small space. All the stuff will fit there, but I don't know, this just worked out for me and made more sense. So there's the bed with a somewhat minimalistic design. You know, it's it's kind of thin and it's also very close to the ground and there's, there's just not a lot of mass there, but it works fine. I think it's kind of nice having the mattress a little bit low uh, as opposed to having them all elevated up, allows light to continue to come in through the windows. I don't know, it, it just kind of feels like the, the size is about right. And then the alarm clock is here. You get a couple of, of lights back there and also a stack of books. And that's just it for this corner. The bedroom is another set that comes with a light, a stand-up light from the floor. And that has pretty good illumination. The difference between it being on and off is pretty significant. I think this actually works a little bit better than the one in the, the bathroom. I don't think it's supposed to, but maybe just these these diffusing lenses that they put across the front are a little bit thinner. And then there's also an area rug down there with a print on it. This is a wardrobe and I will just move this lady out of the way for a moment so I can help her 
get the thing open. And this has a tall dress in it and a small space where you can maybe put uh, some small accessories, pair of shoes I think would work as well. You get two of these kind of half mannequin style hangers in there and those will work with the modern style of dresses. And here is the long dress that's included with this one. Has a pretty nice cut to it and a nice floral print. Now like the living room, I feel like this bedroom set is missing maybe one piece of furniture. There needs to be something else here as a surface because I didn't even have enough room to put all of these small accessories. So you've got probably lotion and perfume over here. There's a compact, you know, it's a makeup set with a makeup brush that's uh, a lipstick and then also a mascara brush, but I've had to put those on the stool, which you're supposed to be sitting on in front of the mirror while applying the makeup. So you, you have to put all this stuff, I guess, over on the bed, but then what if you want to use some of it at the same time? And even at that, this rack of, of tools will just barely fit at the back with the compact kind of hanging off the edge. So definitely something needs to be done about that. You need one more piece of, of surface furniture here to hold all of this stuff. It's good stuff that they included, but there just aren't good accommodations for all that stuff. And then finally, here's the one and only figure that comes with the bedroom set. I don't know who this lady is supposed to be, but I appreciate having a different skin tone in the set since they've got different options for everything else. And this is another of the dresses that are included. So just a small one and it's backless as well. The most interesting thing here to me is that you can change her hairstyle. So if you don't like having the long ponytail, this is a separate piece. You can pull that off. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. There we go. And have it be short into almost like a small bun at the back, you know? It's, it's different. I like that. I like having that sort of option. And this was a nice design and it, it actually fits on there, fits on there well and only comes off when you want it to. So good, good work there. And that is the current Playmobil modern house with four room sets in it. Now there is still that one open room that is kind of the front area where I didn't put anything new, where you could potentially put a fifth room set worth of stuff, uh, you know, possibly put the living room over there and then shift something else into the space where I put the living room. But we are kind of approaching capacity at this point. We're doing too much more, adding too much more will require that you add on to the place by, for instance, adding an additional floor. So they do have the separately sold floor sets. It's worth noting that everything that you're looking at here costs $180 US in total, uh, not counting any sales or discounts. You know, that's the suggested retail price. So it's fairly expensive, but it is big. It's a really, really big house. Just the house to begin with is very large. And fortunately, the totality of the stuff that you add with these room sets is is good. You know, there are so many accessories, especially. The kitchen set, I feel, is just brilliant. There's, there's practically more there than you even need. That's really nicely designed. The living room is definitely a little bit lacking with the seating, as I mentioned. The bathroom, I think, is great. I uh, probably didn't need to include the exercise machine, but I don't mind it. And then the bedroom is pretty good, just needed one more you know, small table or something to hold the rest of the, the makeup equipment. There are also a couple more sets that are currently sold by Playmobil. They've got a kid's room and also a teen's room. And as time goes by, they rotate those out. So there are other different themes of rooms from different eras or with different styles that they offer up. And ultimately they're compatible because the base house itself is just a house, you know, it's just walls and floors. So you can put whatever you want, wherever you want. But that's it for my look at this for now. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you again as soon as I can.